Hi, and welcome to Skincare by Sydney. I'm Sydney. I'm a dermatology PA and your guide to skincare. Today we're going to talk about blue light or HEV, high energy violet light. I love this topic because it allows us to understand what causes skin cancer and then um, also how can we prevent um, these dangerous UV rays. So UV rays that we receive are going to be UVA and UVB. So from the sun, there's mostly UVA, and this is going to be the type that causes skin cancers. The UVB rays are more responsible for causing burns, and while both of them can cause breakdown of collagen, which is basically what causes aging and fine lines and wrinkles and discoloration on the skin, UVB um, is typically more responsible for that. So we also receive um, you know, UV light from other sources, other light sources. So the thing with blue light is that it's about 400 to 450 nanometers on the UV light spectrum. And so we are going to encounter those from screens. So computer screens, phone screens. Um, and the concern is more of premature aging, not causing skin cancer. So I wanna be clear that this isn't something, um, this is more cosmetic <laughs> than necessarily dangerous. The research, that is available shows that there is more damage to like our eyes and vision than there is to the skin as far as causing skin cancer. But we're talking about skincare. So I just want to give you a quick overview. Um, there are products that are out that are, that are specifically marketed to protect you against blue light. And I've honestly had to research and delve into this a lot, but there are two types of sunscreens. There are physical sunscreens which block the UV rays or kind of like reflect them off of your skin. And then there are chemical sunscreens that protect you from the, the harmful UV rays, their chemical reaction. So it's, it's better to use a physical or mineral sunscreen, especially if you're pregnant or if you're talking about a child. Um, so zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are the two ingredients that you're gonna find in a physical sunscreen or you're at least gonna see titanium. Uh, zinc oxide. Sometimes we'll only have titanium dioxide, but we need to think of zinc oxide as like the gold standard of sun protection. So this is going to protect you from skin cancer, but it's, it's also what is protecting you from blue light. The other thing that's very important to understand is that tinted sunscreens have iron oxide in them to make them tinted. Well, iron oxide is also going to protect you from blue light. So if you don't have a tinted sunscreen, then the question is, how can it protect you? What you're gonna find in these products is that it's actually going to be antioxidants. So vitamin C is the best antioxidant to protect against the sun, and then there's vitamin E, um, vitamin B, et cetera. But for example, um, Elta MD has a new product out called UV Restore. Well, there's a tinted and non-tinted. The non-tinted has THD ascorbate in it, which is a derivative of ascorbic acid. So that's why it is protecting you from blue light, whereas the tinted versions are have iron oxide, so they're protecting you. So in general, the reason some sunscreens are more expensive than like what you find at the drugstore is because it's a physical or mineral sunscreen. And it doesn't mean you're spending a lot of money. I mean, you can get one for like $30. Um, Zio is a brand that I like a lot, considered the gold standard in many cases for skincare. All of their sunscreens are going to protect you against blue light. The majority of LCMD, as long as they're tinted, will. So this is just something to start looking for or to at least understand with blue light. So sunscreen is still the best thing to protect you against blue light. We apply sunscreen in the morning, and this is another reason to go ahead and reapply it every two hours. But there is a concern to what are you going to do at night because you don't have on sunscreen. So um, I mentioned that non-tinted sunscreens will have antioxidants in them to protect you from the sun. So our vitamin C serum protects us from blue light as well. So sun slash blue light. And we put the vitamin C on in the morning. It actually will stay in our skin for about two to three days, but we still recommend applying it every day because there is evidence that you get the best results if you apply it before and after 
sun exposure. Some people have taken that to say that you should use your vitamin C serum twice a day. Um, basically, if you use it every morning, you're good. We all know that the quality ones are expensive. So in your typical routine, which is basically what most of us know, like cleanser, moisturizer, sometimes toner, the medical grade components end up being vitamin C serum and a retinoid. And so these are going to be extremely important, well, vitamin C and, and sunscreen to prevent and protect you from the sun. And then the retinoid will also help some of the sun damage that's there. So I just wanted to show you a few products. Um, they're actually, the point in all of these is that they're all tinted. So this is a Zio um, that has a primer in it. This is MD Solar Sciences. Um, for example, this is a super goop that's tinted, so it has iron oxide, so it's protecting you from blue light. Um, and then again, the non-tinted are going to have some sort of antioxidants in them. I also want to touch on a skin medical product that's called Lumo B. So these are two samples and I get samples a lot, so generally I can try a product um, or have enough samples to try it long enough to see, you know, what you think about it. And a lot of these things we're protecting for the future, so we don't really see like drastic results. But this is, um, it has tons of antioxidants in it. It's not a vitamin C serum, but in the skin medical world, it is one that um, you apply day and night. And I think what's interesting about it is that it's protecting you from blue light because a lot of us will look at our phones at night when we're in bed. Um, so technically the vitamin C is still like in your skin, but you can apply the vitamin C twice a day, which I will recommend for people that are actively trying to improve brown spots or discoloration on their skin. Um, and then there are blue light glasses. So um, for example, they look like regular glasses, but these are going to protect you from these are going to protect your eyes while you're at a screen. So that is the scoop on blue light. Um, basically use a mineral sunscreen and use your antioxidant, which is what we are already preaching all the time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative and has like cleared the air because um, the skincare world can be really confusing. Um, but I hope to see you next time and don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube so that you can see all of the videos.